Hey, it's Louis C.K., and uh, this is the worst of fat Patrice O'Neill on the Opie and Anthony show. So listen to his black, large body make annoying fucking noises. Fucking pile high shit, Patrice O'Neill. We're going to get right into the show today because we got Victoria standing by. Oh, the Victoria? You guys are in the same field. Victoria Zidrock? God bless her, man. What a great... I was reading some of this. This is... Let me, you read her book? No, what is it? Oh, on scoring, Dr. Z on scoring. Let me tell you something. We had her in a couple weeks ago, <coughs> and she was very entertaining, but we were thinking, we got to get Patrice in with this woman, because you're in the same field, and Patrice will soon be uh, writing his sex-slash-relationship book. So we, we what you call colleagues. Hello. Hey, how are you? All right. And she oh, likes nice to take out her boobies dressed. and stuff. She, oh, she's a oh, she's very smart woman to use that for, in her advantage. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Why be like these other fucking idiots and not use what you're... Right, gotta use it. What you're worth. It, right? Your body. Look at the young TJ looking. Excited, <laughs> very excited. I'm TJ. Hey. TJ was in there. TJ I was guess. in a big Hollywood movie. Oh yeah, Cloverfield. Yeah. And you know what? The Did fact that she has a vagina, it. It. the fact that she has a vagina, almost makes her as important as everyone in here. That's the good thing about having a vagina. <laughs> yeah, it, it ups their vagina level. Vagina power. Yeah, it, I, gotta know the power of your vagina. I, I, she's gorgeous. Look at well dressed, very sharp, very clean looking. Look at look at the bra that barely like covers up the boobies through the uh, the shirt that is see through. Right, nice look. Right? The matching bra too. Matching very bra. Very important. Very yeah. important to who? Well, important to everyone. No, Matching not, not men, but it's important to well, women. Yeah, it is. It's important. I think it's important to dress well. I think Anglo-Saxon American women can dress. They can, but it doesn't mean dress. anything to Anglo-Saxon American men, by the way. Well, we don't even care if you can read, let alone write a book. All right, hold on. <laughs> no, I think you do care. I mean, men care for, like, a nice tight dress versus, like, something baggy with sneakers. Not really. Just, heels. just whatever's easier to get off. Dr. Z, uh, Patrice O'Neill has a very unique way of looking, which is very uh, smart, by the way, and very brilliant. Thanks, man. Very logical. Yeah. Uh, so Patrice uh, has a very unique way of looking at love and relationships that is a little different than yours. That's why we invited Patrice in here today. It's good. Mm -hmm. I mean, you gave some great Difference advice last time you were on the show, yeah. but you haven't heard Patrice's angle yet. Yeah. My angle is just basically to cut out the editing system within men. Mm -hmm. There's a system that we have, excuse me, where <clears throat> at the bottom of your gut, you have a feeling. And women can go from the bottom of that gut. Now, I'm reading a couple of chapters of your book. There's some things here that's basically just bottom of the gut things where this is what makes us happy. Men have an editing system in the middle before it gets to our mouth and brain where we're always trying to make someone else feel better before we open our mouths. And I'm trying to cut that editing system out so that actually women can really truly understand what we want. As opposed to, like, no offense, good things in your book. But it's almost like this book is like if a fish was writing a book to fishermen to say how to catch me. You understand? Yeah, exactly. Why would I need help from a fish on how to catch you? That makes no sense. Doesn't exist. That goes against what you really are. This, this book is, there's no book on how to get men. Or how, how, there's no book that a woman could write on how to get men to get you. It doesn't make any sense. This is more of a woman power thing. I think you have enough power in this game, in this, in the relationship game. That's what I think. I don't think that you need help. Because that's what this book is basically helping women. It's not helping men. Because what we do, this is completely against what we are, mm. animal wise. Mm. This, is really? a, this is a book on editing. Like to, to give us. Tips like one. I read one thing where it says one, one to ten, the, the worst things to talk about during a date. Right, right, right. Don't talk about religion. Don't talk about. It, it, it's like, what is there to talk about? You're saying what you don't want to talk about. Again, this is well, for you. It's not for us. No, no, but you don't. You listen. That's the idea. These are shortcuts. Do you want to? Do you want to? Shortcuts to what? To, into her panties. These are the shortcuts. If you're going to start talking about mm -hmm. religion, if you're going to talk, start talking about your mother, it's going to take you longer to get. If you're going to listen... But and if ultimately, you... there is no shortcuts. See, shortcuts to a woman's panties ends up being long cuts to my fucking life. <laughs> do, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Meaning, there's, you, you are not teaching women on how to give up pussy and walk away. It doesn't exist. No, I'm not teaching women. I'm not teaching. I'm teaching guys how to get w beautiful women fast and and yeah sometimes this is nothing fast we're looking for hey how are you 
Listen, can I just stick my finger uh, in? That's yeah. what we're looking for. You just basically, this is a how to pick up women. This doesn't exist. This doesn't exist. But, I mean, no disrespect to this book. But, again, we're talking. See how free you get to be <laughs> when you tell a guy, here's how you get us. But why don't you listen to how we want to get you? Mm. Because we're masters at getting. But, see, here's what you guys don't do. Women don't. You should write a book on how to keep a man. Which is your job? Well, I don't need to keep I a man. You, I have you. a hard time getting rid of them, right? So, uh, on what level, though? Let's be honest here. Getting rid of them—is that what your well, life I'm is? Saying, getting rid of men? That's not no, even—that's no, no. against your but nature. Say, no, no, exactly. But I don't need a book on keep a man. Do you know what I mean? You a, do a woman need like a me book on keeping a man. And I'm not—I'm not writing for women. You know, I mean, I'm writing. So for basically, guys. when you I'm, say you don't need a book, this is an insight on into how to score women that look like me. That is impossible. You know how to score you. How yeah, do you do course. that? Well, I know how to score because I know how to score these kind of women. I've hooked up with these women before. And how, do you, how do you do it? How do I score you? Well, Can any guy score you? Of course. Okay. I've slept it's with sco- hundreds sco- of men. Therefore, there's that's, plenty of women. That's, that's, that's beautiful. Wait, I like you, you. I like you a lot for saying that, by the way. <laughs> you slept with hundreds? I'm that's being fantastic. really honest. That's I had, fantastic. I, was a, I had a very promiscuous... Um, Young life and, and uh, is that is that continuing? Because you gotta you gotta either hold them up or hold them down. To be honest, with you. could that but, continue this afternoon? Uh, what I'm saying is like she's not answering you. No, promise. But what <laughs> I'm saying is life. that uh, there are certain kind of men that turn women on naturally, and the, the men that listen, the men. You know what? It's very simple. If you just say to a woman. How do you feel about that? A woman's going to love you because guess what? You're strong but sensitive. Oh, just That's too all much you're going to say. No, you're there's adding, no thinking. You're adding too much thinking it's just, to oh, what guys want. But there is no thinking. It's, it's there you words. go. And here's what you're it's doing right now. You're telling, you're telling, this is the thing. You're telling, like say if I'm a shark swimming around the ocean, you got in the water and just told a shark how to be a shark and you're a tuna. Like, how do you tell me how to be what I am? Do you feel me? Like, we don't well, want to tell you. We you do know all you this stuff we in this book. A lot of it. Anyway, I didn't read the whole book. It's things that we already do, but we don't want to do. That's why we're losing our existence, which was a complete lie. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, we lie. We don't go from our gut to our mouth. But I don't encourage no to lie. Guy, I don't encourage guys to lie. I, I this is, this, is, this is what you're encouraging. No, no. I want I, if I want to talk, I want to be talk about religion, why can't I talk about religion? You can talk about religion, but if chances wanna, are, it, it, if she's of different religion, she's going to get turned off of one Ready, day. hit, that's the, there we go. It's the arrogance. It's better you find out right who away. Who gives a shit? Right. This is the problem we, we have. It's all about what is turning you... Fuck you! Like not and not offense, not trying to be offensive, but fuck <laughs> what you want. Because really, what it boils down to well, is you, your vagina. But do you want to get minute, laid or minute. not? It comes down to how That's badly is it when I get laid. There you go. You weigh in your existence. This guy here, right? T.J. Miller. T.J. Miller. T.J. Right. Miller. The great T.J. Miller. Fucking in an eighty million does not, dollar does know how to blockbuster a movie, right? Still, right. But I'm going to tell you that a vagina. He had to be in a movie. He has to be at comics. He has to be doing what he's doing in life to get some kind of stature, just to get your pussy. This is what I'm saying. Women never yours, offer up. Yours specifically, by the way. I've been doing all this for yours what, specifically. But, it, but what? That's what I'm saying. It doesn't impress you, but it fucking should the fact that no. I have to have a goddamn good credit, I have to have a no, nice car. No, none of that. I have Who to, gives a shit about I, good credit? I don't talk about good oh, credit. Oh, sorry, you talk about everything I else. I talk about a but bad boy. I talk about b- being spontaneous and risk taking. I talk about sense of humor. What? We I talk already about know. We authority. already know. What do you have to have? But besides Definitely a twat, not good credit. Besides a twat, what do women have to have? To get a man. You don't have to be charming. How do you get a man without your pussy? How would you get a man? That is interesting. Um, how Dar- 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 Z, if you didn't have a pussy, how would <laughs> yeah, you get a man? how would you? Um, well, you know, there's plenty of guys who are into uh, things other than the pussy, unfortunately. Uh, but I like to ask. I'm just, asking a, I'm just asking the question. If you didn't have. A vagina. A vagina. And, 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 and this is. I just. I, I get very passionate about this. Don't. Don't think I'm. I'm you know, attacking you. Know, you. 
But without, no, I understand. But wait, you, wait, wait a second, because here's what you're about to do. You're about to do some woman stuff. You're not going to answer the question. You're no, going to spin it no, into no, no, actually spinning. something else. You, you know, I've been to Rio de Janeiro, and uh, if you watch Rio de Janeiro, you see these women. You see these these women in quotations that stand there, and then you see guys pulling over and getting blowjobs. Guess what? These are not women. These are transsexuals. Well, this is exactly and what I'm saying. She, them. what the Vaginas fuck? Vaginas have nothing to do we, with this. That had nothing to do with the question. See, I'm pretty, I'm pretty magical with this shit. <laughs> you, I knew you was going to switch it up. <laughs> but what I'm true. saying I'm is, you, there's no, there is no, it, it, it has everything to do with it. Vagina, there's never, there's no guy in here that's ever gotten pussy in their life because they have a dick. Do you understand what I'm saying? Meaning, we can't just go, look at this dick, ladies. We have to have a skill level, a charm level. We, right. have, to, we have to have a fucking, how many pages? A 400 <laughs> page book to read to figure out how to fuck beautiful women. What do, have you ever charmed your way into dick? Have you ever talked your way into anything? Have you ever yeah. been charming? Absolutely. Have you ever taken a man out to dinner who didn't want to give you dick, but you fucking totally. talked your way into it? Actually, you talked your way into dick before. I have, believe it or really, not. Really, to a man that didn't want to fuck you? Really, what did you do? What were some of those charming things you did to make me want to fuck you and I didn't want to at first? I think what I'm Patrice is saying... Wait a minute, TJ, because no, here's, what, okay. here's why ahead. we fucked Sorry. up. Okay. Because... TJ, this is what we do. We don't have ball togetherness, <laughs> m men. Nope. Because this is what makes us even. This is what makes us better than women just too. Sit back and enjoy. TJ mm -hmm. is gonna go. Ooh, this is a good time to play good cop, bad cop, right? Where it's like, oh, see, Patrice, this is what he's doing. And no offense, but he's gonna he'll do anything to fuck you. <laughs> this is what he's doing. But for the basic part of it. We have an objective, and you don't understand this objective. See, yeah, this you have book, revolutionary objective to fuck as many women as you can. And you have, an, have an evolutionary, evolutionary objective, objective to fuck one guy exactly. as much as you can. Exactly. Where's and your skill to do that? What do you mean, my skill to do Where's that? Where's your skill to fuck? And instead of pretending that these hundreds of men you're proud of, you really want one guy I that you can one call your man. Now. Yeah, I do. Yeah, but how are you having that? How are you keeping this guy? How do you think I keep that guy? The good one. How do you do, ask me a question with a question? Boobies. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> this Boobies. is what, this is all I'm saying is How do I keep it's him? hard for them Lots to admit what sex. they are. Lots exactly. Why? This is what the fuck. This is and what they I boil themselves down. Sit down. Sit sit down. down. They, they, up. Up. they boil themselves down sit to down. sex. And why are wait, we supposed to make one. them better? Why are we supposed to make them better than what they think they're selfish? I also make a good living. Much better living than my man does, so that helps. Which as well. is why your relationship is on the way out anyway, because you can't deal with having a, a guy that's no. less cool than you. Oh, he's not less cool. He's he absolutely cool. is. He's a he's a man that is not better than his woman. Why is he not better? Because he doesn't make as much money as you. But that doesn't define <laughs> somebody better. Or worse. Yeah, it does for no, you. It yeah, you look at a king. You you, you want a king why? in your life? Is he your king? Yeah, he's my king. How's he your king when you're above him and you're the queen? I don't think I'm above him. Queen King don't exist. It's King Queen. I don't think I'm above him. You're long? better than him. No, I'm not better than him. You're just, you're just enjoying your control right now. But now, it, as soon as you get done with him, he'll be gone. I'm not done with him. I mean, we're, you we're don't know how to make your, oh, You don't know how to make yourself happy. And not you. Women. This is what it boils well, down I'm to. I'm an extremely happy person. There's no way you're happy with a man that's less cool than you. I don't think he's less cool. He's super Absolutely cool Absolutely less cool than you. Just because he makes We're less money doesn't to make him cool. We're not to see boobies today. Huh? <laughs> no, I'm not. Nothing, this nothing. Is nothing. Is <laughs> God, continue. I'm just saying. I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying you're not tapping in. Listen, I, I love what I read, but you're not tapping into the animal that you're dealing with. You're tapping into you. Which is what women do. You don't tap into us. Us is a different thing from you. And you need to learn about us from us, not from you. Well, Patrice has a different way of looking at relationships and, and <laughs> no, stuff like that. See. Patrice doesn't that. like um, commitment, doesn't like, he doesn't want to be married, likes to keep his don't woman. Doesn't like the do bullshit of no, the chase. I don't dislike commitment. What I don't like, Opie, is I don't like an unhappy guy. A traditional right. unhappy guy. I don't like. A I don't guy. like an unhappy guy either. But and you I'm not, have I'm no not, choice today. I'm not that give big on commitment myself. I think most uh, marriages should be open marriages on but, both sides. But that's I not people to your nature. You decided to go with the My guys. Nature? Women's nature. Women's nature what is, is isn't not to nature? have. Of course, because you're talking about years of millennium of evolution. A hundred different dicks in you. I don't mind it, but that's not what you 
crave is a hundred no, different dicks. You want one dick that you love. You don't want to. Yeah, when you say you want a hundred different couple, dicks, you're couple. being a guy. But you're not being a guy. A couple. You'd be surprised. You know what? Women are cheating as much as men do. Doesn't now. matter. They're miserable when they're doing it. Mm, not always miserable. Women are mis you know why? Because there's no satisfaction to how you get dick. You get dick by opening your legs. Do you understand? <laughs> you can like sit here and you sit there and you spread your legs and just go, fellas, one of you, would you like to touch it? We'll all go, yeah. If you had a room full of women and, and a dick came out and it's like, put your hands on it, ladies, uh, they, you would all go, ew, because it doesn't matter how you You've get dick. You've been hanging out with the wrong women, Patrice. Yeah, I, I know you try to be different, but we, we all know. Uh, I don't know. We all know that you're a girl. You sit down to pee, you have kids, you so? do things that make you, even the act of What's being... What's so bad about being a girl? It, oh, it's just, look, I've done girl things. You ever think you had to take a shit, but you just peed? And you just were sitting there and sitting down peeing and how miserable you was just sitting down. <laughs> like, how, what a bitch you felt like. How demoralized you are by going, ugh, I'm sitting down to pee. You ever lay back and pretend, like, play fuck with your girl and put yourself in missionary position just for a game and the idea of someone lay you're laying on your back with your legs back and someone is fucking you? <laughs> it is embarrassing. <laughs> Bleeding every month for no reason. You are miserable. You God angry. made you miserable. You know what guys do that's fun? We have an activity where once in a while, maybe me, once every other day, I kill life. I squirt life anywhere. On, on my girl's chest, on a sock, on a f anywhere. <laughs> There's no activity where a woman enjoys just killing eggs. There's no activity where they go, yay, there's an egg on the floor. This is why you're miserable <laughs> so, because you're, and, and your happiness, wait a wait, minute, wait, wait, your wait. happiness is based on thinking you're a man. Wait, but if, uh, so, you want, what, so you want women to have, woman, like, me? eggs roll out of their body and then just take a hammer and just start smashing Well, that's, they don't understand <laughs> what it's like to be frivolous. They're not frivolous with their body. That's right. why I know a hundred guys fucking a hundred guys yeah. means nothing to a woman it's not happiness because there's no gratification uh, to it there's no hunt you know what you're hunting love and you don't know how to get yeah, it some women you hunt hope love. you hope this guy that you fuck will love you it's scratching the lottery you don't know how to get love have no clue Wow. Right, let's <clears throat> wow. So it's your rant right, on no how problem. great it is to be a man. You know it, because your book. So why do you, you think... You're on the men's side, not on the woman's side. This book says it right here. You're on our side. Answer. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fair enough. But let me tell you, why do you think so many men out there, so many men, and they email me all day long, are, are, want to be women? And how come majority of transsexuals and transvestites dress up as women? So and they can have come, control over what they don't have control come, over. Yeah, exactly. So how, who is miserable here? If majority of transsexuals are men, male We're to miserable. female. We're They're miserable. They all want to be girls. They all, they all want to be submissive. They, wanna, they, they all want to be wanna slaves. Control they pussy. all, they all want to dress up. They all want to dress up in girly that's clothes. That's why pimps are loved. P people love pimps. Not because they can put women on the street and make them sell their pussy. But the mind of how do I control something that's controlled by an unlikable creature <laughs> like you're awful if i control pussy <laughs> boy pussy be great mm, i don't know about I that i would bring I the value I, I think, of pussy down to you know zero what? I think if majority i owned a majority of men would love to be a woman that's why so it's one of the are biggest you fetishes serious? What, sit down are, we, are guys wearing you, female panties it's, that's it's huge. control it's, huge it's a control on the internet of, yeah. it's to have an idea of how it is to control the vagina because God has given a miserable animal I don't know the about power that. I to I, control I something to make us happy. Yeah, Patrice hates vaginas. No, I can he see that. likes the vagina, he just doesn't like, like the, all the, the shit that's it. around right. it <laughs> right. and yeah. the shit it takes. Seriously, yeah. it bothers me. <laughs> How little women bring to the table and how many demands you have. I don't think we have a lot of demands. You know what? How many demands do we have? I don't know. Let's read chapter six. What other demands? Here's the hit. Being gregarious, taking up space and looming. What's bad? Being a loud mouth. I think guys have way more demands. Yeah. Hey, we no, have we to don't. look beautiful. We have to look young. We have to wear lingerie ah, for you. Ready? We have to be thin. How many demands do you Fair have? Fair enough. You know what that boils down to? One, one thing. Object. 
Just be an object. An object of desire. Perfect that's object. what your job is. So that's a lot more demands. All we want you guys to do I is I want a shiny shoot, watch, not up. a scruffy one. All we want you to do is not that's be scruffy. That's way more demands. than We, we don't want <clears throat> anything from you. We don't care uh, um, if you're bald. Uh, we don't you know? care. Uh, I talk about appearance. We are hmm. not shallow. We don't care if you don't, you know, if you don't shave. We don't have any of those. We have we to shave mm. your legs for you. Mm -hmm. We have to look perfect. We have to diet for you. Put mm. makeup, wear lingerie. How many demands is that? Enunciate. Mm, okay. Mm. Enunciate. This is your book. This Body. is my Here's book. Here's what we ready. Oh, good. Here it is. Who here wants it is. a guy who mumbles? Top top ten worst <laughs> physical. But then, but here's the thing. We should a mumbling guy. Because here's the thing. Even though you you're a, even though you're a doctor, down on, yeah. even though you're yeah. a doctor, I'm just I'm sharing with you the animal. Just because you're a we'll doctor do a show, doesn't you make you any sexier. Yeah. You know. Any sexier so as a woman Cleveland. being a, a doctor yeah. as oh, it does. Oh, you're very wrong. As it yeah, two sold out shows. Sorry oh, what? That. No, go, go. We don't call them out because we love pussy. But the fact is, after the pussy, then what? Then Not what? Enough. All right, so wait. After the pussy, then what is? what are you getting at? After we do our job. Then you're in hell after that? No, after we do our job. And get the pussy. And get what we're trying to get initially. Some right. of us try to pretend we're looking for love, but no guy goes out and goes, listen, fellas. Let's go. Hey, fan. Opie, everybody, let's get together because let's all go out and find love. Mm -hmm. It doesn't happen. We go out and search for a certain thing. That's what we're built to do is hunt for that. The other thing, if it happens, it happens. But it shouldn't happen because we get pussy. I shouldn't. That's like, you know, that it's like going fishing on a fishing boat, mm -hmm. right? All the mm -hmm. things you have to do, you buy the bait, you go out in the ocean, you find a perfect spot, you fish, you fish, you, get, you, find, you catch this big thing on a fucking hook, you get this giant tuna, and you're like, holy shit. Look what I did. Look what I did. Then you, then you throw the tuna back in the water, and then the fucking fish jumps back in the boat. See, I don't get him at all. <laughs> and goes, and goes, I love you. You go, motherfucker. It's, it's really funny. You. Guys love to pretend they're Catch not looking release. for love, right? But, but this, you know what statistics show? Statistics shows that men fall in love a lot faster than women do on the first day. These are statistics on psychological studies. Men are three times more likely to, which kill, I which I to kill themselves after romantic breakup. Women get over romantic breakup a lot quicker. Men live longer in marriages than, than those who are not. So statistics shows that men are much better off when they're in love. But they go around, but they that. like to say, that. these are yeah. statistics you I cannot reject. reject. You, can, reject you can reject statistics. anything you want, but I'm trying to tell you, these people? are what, 100, studies. 100 studies? Oh, no, these are studies. You can't, these are studies. You gotta study. Studies. You gotta study. It's a, you see, you know, this this is, 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 men love to walk around and say, oh, we don't want love, we don't want love, but... We don't because, we do. because we get love easy. Once I fuck you, you love me. I don't know. It's not why, so easy. Why do you think a guy would be more depressed? Women are very conditional a, about their love. Why do you think a guy would be more depressed after a breakup than a woman? Why, why do you think so? Exactly. Why, why do you do think, think so? so? Yeah. Because it's women, women have social networks. You know what? They talk to their girlfriends. They no. move on a lot faster. No. Guys dwell no. on stuff. They don't Because a woman emotions. could go out that night yeah. and have a dick. And the guy and it's, has it's, to search around, and maybe at exactly. four in the morning, he's fucking drunk and going home to jerk off because he didn't get anything. And then For the next night, reason, the girl can go out and get another dick. <sighs> and the guy, again, has to go out and work his ass I'm off to try to get... So why do they kill it? Why are they three uh, times more like, up, why, why do guys kill each other all up, the time? I am so each other? tired of vaginas over pussy. adding up to your <laughs> whole why life. Why are they dueling over Anthony, why? Over Anthony pussy? you're a yeah. famous millionaire. Great. A famous millionaire. Yeah. But a fucking loser <clears throat> could fuck you because she has a pussy. A fucking loser, like a woman who has nothing extra except for vagina, can fucking feel like she's at your level. Do you understand? You're not at the social, the the social status, the thinking status. You don't have friends. First of all, women don't have friends with each other. That's why you want to hang around us all the time, because we're better at being friends. Do you know any information about your friends that could like ruin their lives? Their lives. <laughs> No. Yes, we do. Really? You can destroy, destroy one of your girlfriend's lives? Absolutely. Do it. Let's well, see. Women Let's talk it. It? about Which woman? guys, each, uh, about the women talk to each other more than guys would do. Would you hide a gun for your girlfriend if she committed a murder? Yeah, I would. Well, she knows that. See, see I mean, let me tell you why she's good. She knows the man. She knows in case I might need my bitch to hide a gun. Might. <laughs> but she knows she's smart enough to know the guy answer oh, to this. But you could feel this 
right here, she's a little bit I annoyed am, I, with her own life because this is what I'm saying. And this is what she cut me I, off on this. I, I gotta agree. Dr. I think Z, more like a guy. Dr. Z. Mm -hmm. Doctor. I think more like a guy, Doc, I have to admit. You can't think she's like a guy. She's had a hundred dicks. Just because she's stuck, what? She's had a hundred dicks. I'm freaking love. I'm she's telling you. I have, you know. She's had a lot of dicks. She has had a lot of dicks. Patrice, you gotta give her that. Let's at least be in agreement that she's had a lot of dicks. she's had a lot of dicks. A lot of dicks. Her having, her having a hundred dicks. She's had a hundred. Is as easy as you eating these bag of chips with Like it's. It's no big deal. You know what? My that. sister I and I had actually a competition who would have more. More dicks? What yeah, competition is that? That's oh, like a great competition. Are you guys going to have that again? That is? Is a that hot it? dog eating competition. That's a great competition. <laughs> Did you guys have a dick sucking contest? It, this is not no, impressive. No, 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 not, not a dick sucking. What? This That's is impressive. Not, I'm it's sorry. not impressive. She's wearing me down because, now. You know what's it, why it's she's not impressive? Said, she said hundred. Because she could suck a thousand. <laughs> she only <laughs> sucked a hundred. But Patrice, <laughs> Patrice we want to hear about the hundred that she did <laughs> yeah, suck. Yeah, she's wearing us down a little bit. I got to be honest. Right. <laughs> Where are you now? Just, me. Hey, oh, okay. I hundred wanted, dicks. You know what? Because all these sex experts write about sister? techniques. You're a bunch of holes. That's what women are. Just three holes. Well, and I three holes. <laughs> I, Basically, that's what it is. Is, is that in the book? How to get women? Just saying, oh, you're a bunch oh, yeah. of holes. Is uh, that? Oh well, no, holes. but I do. I do talk in the book about how to get anal and and why and how most women. Actually, right, how do most you get spit on your ass? Hold on, hold on. Right. I'm going to control this a little bit, or at okay, least right. attempt to. How do, how does one get uh, um, yeah. yours or another woman's asshole? And if we could come back to the uh, the, the the fucking competition with yeah. you and your sister, yeah. uh, do you do that later. But yeah. first, uh, we'll yeah, we're on the same page. Sure. So, how do you get asshole? Patrice saying, let me fuck you in the ass is not going to get him any ass. Uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like shutting and the I'm fuck wondering up. How much, I'm wondering how much he's actually like, gotten. Like, uh, how I, much what? ass he's actually gotten. I'm wondering how much ass he's actually gotten in his lifetime. Ooh, you, I'm really, you're talking to the wrong guy. I'm Patrice really is wondering. A, is the man. Patrice is not wow. helping. He is getting guys less less mm. pussy rather uh, than more yeah, bro, of course, because man. this kind of approach is going to turn uh, women off but please. that's guy what that's what they, this There's is a for million angry, of you this is for you angry fucked guys. guys did they all do the same thing to get you they were all men you didn't fuck no, some guys on the first night well, they, the first they, day all, you met they all had to to qualify of course exactly they, they, had, to 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 they had to offer they had to imply all their hard work to get your twat. No. And that, and, no, but no, yes, no. they did. They, but they, they, they did. had to offer me some value, some interest. Of course. Something. What? They what? didn't come up to me and say, let me fuck you. Of course not. Right. But what what did they do? Dinner, oh, movie? Oh, boy. We're not going to no, find out about No, not necessarily. I mean, I am just oh, wanting boy. to hear. Sorry. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just need to let know. Me, let me. Well, let me. Know. Know. <laughs> 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 All weekend we've got. No, we're gonna I enjoy the Patrice angle. You know, Patrice. I'm listening. All right. Just listen for a minute. You're losing your mind. fucking cut people. But this is horse shit. This is more vaginal horse. Well, let, let, let me listen to you. No, no, I want to hear Patrice's approach. No, no, I no, want to hear his approach. No, talk what is through. his recommendation for scoring Will you with get women? Us some asshole now. Because now, right now, some tips. right now, all he gave us is how not to get any pussy and why pussy means nothing. I want to know his approach. What is his advice to a guy to score with a woman? Here is a woman in the in a bar. How do you how do you score with? Her. I want to know. I don't have advice right now. on well, exactly. You don't have advice. Oh, you have Fair enough. There you go. You angry, keep talking. Angry, angry bitch and complain. We'll go you back go. to the ass. It's just angry oh, bullshit. Boy. That's all it is. There it's you just... go. That's the real shit. There I go. There you go. I like that. That's what I want. The real yeah, shit. Yeah, Your angry emotional crap. horse shit. Because that's what you want. Stuff. <laughs> emotional. Where is that emotion? You are in your vagina. I am very calm. You are getting emotional. Because I take it very seriously. I, you I are just, you just the one who's you getting just very qualified emotional. Thinking of you all the qualified your shithole. Pe women that give up their shithole well, as less tip, better than you because all you do is fuck a hundred guys with your pussy, fuck. but you're very careful we're with the shithole. We were this the close. The shithole is less important. You, you know how you get the asshole? <laughs> you eat the pussy, lick the asshole, and it feels good. Then you put a finger in it, and then the bitch wants to do some. Want to know how you pee on your girl? In the shower. Want to know how to get her to suck your dick? Slap her in the face with it. This is what's wrong with you. You direct too many of your movies. Open up. That's what the fuck you do. Um. All right. Well, I guess the we. Fuck you don't know. You're the fucky. Well, how you gonna uh, tell me how to fuck you? We we actually we, you get fucked. We we have that. So the the question has been answered, Doctor Z. 
see, and thank you for coming Talk in to today. Do you agree wow. with uh, Patrice's you approach on the fuck asshole? E. Pa- Patrice, Patrice's book is considerably shorter than yours. Uh, uh, yeah, I I like it. it. It's more of a pamphlet. <laughs> right. Yeah, I would so see you, that. Would you agree with that as far as how to get the asshole? No. You are fucking losers trying to make a... Here's what you're trying to do. Have a man and have a woman at the fucking same time. We're men. We're better than you. We want a guy. We don't want a woman. We don't want a wussy guy. Yeah. We don't want that. A non-wussy guy is better than you. It trickles down from you. They don't know. The only so thing you're they know. You can, you're saying you can get a woman to do anything. Anything. You, want, you don't you negotiate just, you with them. You tell them. that. So this is actually interesting because it sounds like you guys are saying the same thing. Yeah, that's Absolutely. what I'm saying Patrice too. Is, I think is you're little, on the same page. Oh, but yeah, fair Patrice. Enough, fair I think you. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right there. I think. Of course. Go ahead. By sticking <laughs> your dick in. No, I didn't the say first that. Time you I didn't say it. that. Yeah. I didn't say that. But why shouldn't you fuck her in the ass the first time as opposed to the pussy the first time? What was the? I don't get it. Good question, doctor. Why? Because most women <laughs> are defensive about that, and most women are uncomfortable. And you know why most women? Because you make up your yeah. own movie mm-hmm. that stars you as you, stars you as me, stars you as the director, you're the producer. No. Stop doing, they don't know what they like. I, anytime you fuck a girl, most women, anytime you fuck a girl and she tells you what she likes, that means she likes it because some other dude did it. <laughs> and she goes, oh, I like that. But you don't have an explorative mind where you go, you know what? I wonder what it's like. If it wasn't for the fact a guy tried to fuck you in your ass, you wouldn't go, boy, I want to get fucked in my ass. <laughs> we bring everything to you. Your whole idea is based on you want to be a man. You think you think like a man because thinking like a woman is so fucking awful. <laughs> That's why you think like a man. Um, I'll tell you why I'm mad. It, it, yeah, why are you mad, Patricia? I am mad. I'm just mad, and not at her. It's just like you figure somebody with doctor in front of their name, right, would just be saying something you haven't heard from the average bitch that work at McDonald's. <laughs> like, they just, you're just saying the same horse shit. I've it's, it's like, wow. it's just, it, it's like, you know, to ask, hey, how do you do ass to mouth? It's the same as, how do you fuck her? You know what I mean? It's like once right. you figure out the control of how to talk a woman out of being like their typical horseshit, it's just getting around their typical bullshit because they don't have a filter. They don't. They go from how they feel to coming out their fucking mouth. They never explore mm-hmm. how to have an option on how to think. She believes that just because she thinks she thinks like a guy, that makes her a guy. Like, no. Like, when I was getting ready to say doctor, do you realize... The fact that you're a doctor doesn't make you more attractive than if you fucking was the woman. No, it doesn't make me more attractive. It doesn't. It doesn't make you more attractive to you. you It doesn't because you are into skanky women who are not. No, 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 no. How about this? Let me give you. But there's plenty of guys to whom it does make me. I'll give you an example that Patrice uh, brought up. I'll give you an example of of a point he brought up. You take uh, a plumber, just a guy. He's a plumber, average-looking guy. Uh, he walks up and he tries to get into, I don't know, uh, some Hollywood starlet's pants at some party. He's lucky enough to somehow get his way in there. Uh, he's not getting near her. If he talks to her for two seconds, he's being driven away. It, it's just, it ain't going to work. Uh, you put the shoe on the other foot where some girl comes in, attractive looking, doesn't have to be the best looking girl in the world, can absolutely hook up with a rock star or uh, George Clooney or any <laughs> other guy because for no other reason than she has a vagina that no. the guy wants to get into. That's not well, true. And that yeah. she's hot. Yeah. What? Yeah. what the Halle Berry ends up with this movie star. I mean, a movie star Halle Berry ends up with some... With some ma- with some model, some guy who's nobody but has a cute. A face. model though, it's a model. He's not a fucking model. He's not a guy but, that makes money for being attractive. But do you think male? Do you think George Clooney is gonna hook up with just any girl? He's gonna hook up with a he's hot girl. He's gonna fuck her. He's gonna yeah, hook, a hot gonna girl, fuck. right? You just well, answered me. Well, it's the same me. way the other but way around. But it doesn't matter. Helen gonna well, fuck no, a no, guy no, hold, because hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me say this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The model or the the hot girl that that George Clooney hooks up with right. can be a fucking receptionist at a haircutting so, salon. The you think the it hot wait, 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 the, wait, the the hot guy that uh, uh, Halle Berry hooks up with he ain't gonna be no fucking uh, guy that works for the telephone company. 
This is going to be a model guy, well, some fucking director, no producer, no. or you some shit. All the time because the guy needs nobody. to have something, and the girl needs to have a, a, a pussy. The point is, the point is, the, the guy is... We're less shallow. We're point, looking for quality other no, than but your no, looks. No, no, the you point, guys the only care about looks. You don't Anthony's care making. how dumb a woman is. You don't care if she's like a complete... <laughs> there you go. This but is the so, real world. This is girl but coming but out. But that makes there you, you right. fucking shallow broker. guy. This bullshit, no, 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 real bullshit. Dr. Z is disappearing, baby. No, that's true. I am going to come on. That's my point. Zornak is coming the fuck out, baby. No, but I'm not... You're, you're, there you go. But right. that's exactly the point. Good job. Anthony, Anthony just said <laughs> what's true, which is that a guy, needs your point to, a guy needs to have external things about him. He needs to have <laughs> other things to level the playing field. Right. All a girl has to do is be attractive. Now, if a guy, but if, that, but what why is won't a girl go? But, why won't a girl go out with a guy who works at the telephone company and is like kind of good looking? They go she's out super all hot. the time. Mm, I don't know. Do you want me to give you names? I'll give you names of women. Radio Shack. Can I just please? Can I just please? Wait a second. I'm I'm trying. I'm not so low ball. The low ball insults. That's all you've been doing. Fair enough. I'm trying to give you names. This is what I'm talking about. No, no. This is the real boiling down to be a girl. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you names of women. What I'm saying is, I'm gonna fucking let you talk. I just want to say this one thing about your book. To just on this point. This is an entire book on what a guy should do to get pussy. Right. Not to get not to, to have get a good life, one. Not to have a life with her, not to understand anything about all this shit to get you are Because guys don't because, care about getting a life. They care about getting pussy. So, That's but, your point but right there. This is why they don't want a you're book. trying they to They don't want a book of relationships. Your, but this but here's what your book I'm does. I'm not controlling anything. Here's I'm giving what, guys here's what this book does. I'm giving guys this quick book tips. Makes guys act a certain way. So that when you finally give up the pussy, he might have an emotional investment no, in you. This so book that has you nothing can to probably, do with emotional it has investment. emotional investing That's exactly qualities. what... No, what are you talking about? Why don't you this just book write a book issue? called Ladies... Give up your pussy and stop playing. <laughs> That's your book. This is the book you need to write, but ladies. But why give wouldn't up your you, pussy. if you have a male point of view, why wouldn't you just write it because for women? Because I don't write books for women. I don't want to write books but for women. But you're writing books for men that that have nothing to do with how the fuck we feel. Let me tell you how behind you guys are. In the year one, or whenever you found out pussy was valuable, and you found out some guy would give his rocks up you know for, your, for your vagina. When, yeah. About millions years ago. Million years ago. And, what, and I say men are behind the pussy a million years. But we are evolving because we're tired of giving up everything we work for for twat. So you're basically staying the same as you were in the year 07 or whatever the so fuck. So how are you evolving? We're evolving you. by understanding that all your demands... That you have as women, all the things you want, all you're not going to You know, it's very it. simple. You it have boils earn, down to two you things. You have to earn what you want. It boils down to two things. Eggs are rare. There's not that many of them. Sperm is plenty. Mm. Therefore, you've got something that there is lots of. We've got something that's rare. Yeah. You want your genes passed on? Yeah. You got to play the dance. That's how it works. That's not true. You, we are the carriers it's of the genes. It's absolutely you not wanna true. Pass on. Yes, that's how it no, is. Well, no, scientifically it's true, but how you're but making that's, it, it, you're, you're not, not going to change listen, anything. But you're it's not gonna always special because like you're a girl. You're not special because you can have babies. Why are you making it? You, you're not special. We just happen to be the dudes that shoot it out. You happen to be the receivers. Like, you're not a special person because nature said that you have babies. You're not special. It, it's just You're nature. missing the point. There you're missing no the point. point. Your Guys want to pass on as, ma as many of their genes as possible. Yeah. We want to be selective. And that's how it works. It's always going to be. We've got something you want. We can can pass on okay, your genes. Okay, so when you Without was, us, when you was, you fucking, the hundreds, when you was fucking all these guys, it was all pleasure. And so you kind of went against nature. So basically, I'm a little different from most women. I see. I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't agree that you, you don't are. You don't agree that? No, because look, look at all these angry sips of water. I like her now. <laughs> 
I like Dr. Z now because oh, she she's getting out. Not she's angry. getting out on her horse shit. I really like it. I really like the fact that she like her the dig she's saying I'm giving. She was giving like, oh, you like to fuck scuzzbats. <laughs> yeah, but I fuck doctors too. They're just as fucking oh, dumb as every other girl. I've met oh, dumb garbage girls and I've met dumb doctors okay. when it comes to this game. You you can't win it. What, because what you have game? no skill to what get what you want. We have the skill to get pussy. We don't what need is this book. Skill? What is your skill? We'll give guys a specific skill. We also have to have the skill. Women, what is the uh, skill? I want to know the, the skill. The skill is all what whatever you've done over your like. He has different skill. I have different. I don't have a how to. You pick have up. a skill. Yeah, you. Ha I gotta give you. You got the gift of gab. But there's a lot of guys out there who don't have the exactly. skill. Exactly. And my book but gives God, them the skill. No, they don't. Your book yes. teaches them how. My look, book it gives them the a skill. fucking retard with a job. This is what makes guys different than women. Get attracted to other things. Your downfall is that you're not as shallow as us. So a retarded guy can go. A retarded millionaire can go listen. You know, I want a million dollars, but I can't. He can get pussy. <laughs> a retarded billionaire woman is in deep shit. That, that, that is the book that I want to read. The retarded millionaire's way to get pussy. <laughs> I like the retarded billionaire Guess woman what? If is you're in a deep shit for, you, for a book title. If you're oh, gonna get you that number one hey, hey, companion book. Like, hey, handsome, right can you? Uh, Let me tell you. Table if book. you've got really? money, you're gonna title. get pussy or dick. <laughs> that doesn't have you what struggled ever you to get dig? Have you struggled to get dig? No. Yeah, so what do you know? Have you struggled to get pussy? Of course, I'm a fat motherfucker. Every, every, <laughs> I had to learn how to get pussy. I want to manage the Patrice and Dr. Z sex show. Oh, can I call? Can it I call It would be you the Vicky? greatest radio show ever to be on. Oh answer. yeah, Amazing. Patrice would be on his feet. And let me tell you something. Yeah. She oh, has yeah. a man, but this is exactly I <sighs> could fuck her so easy, based on the fact that she fucking hates my guts. That's all it is. At all, I actually find you very entertaining. Mm, like a, you know what? Like a big bear. I, uh, no, I'm I actually fucking, went. Mm, I what like would you do to her? And, there, and you know I, what? I can't, I can't even begin to imagine now, see, what you, sex oh, would look you like. You want her? Yeah. It, her right on her cheek. You, That's the he, first thing see, I would do. You only want to fuck Kong. me because I'm <laughs> hot, right? <laughs> it's, oh. I actually You're would not like bad. to. You're not bad. That would be the I like to fuck guys. Wait, wait, wait. Who are quick witted and who have a good sense of humor. You're not bad. And let me explain to you what you are. And that's, oh, this is not an insult shit. because this is a thing we we apply because a guy like a, like a guy like me a guy that's not a fucking model good looking dude sure okay the we, guy doesn't we, have to be model we good usually go one to ten when you, when guys are going hey explaining a hot girl hey, right one to ten what you give her man oh she's like a nine she's a in real life you're a ten but we went up to thirty. Okay, me and my friends went up to from one to thirty, okay. mm. and what I, and what we did is break that thirty down into three categories of ten. The first ten is ugly bitches, the second ten is okay looking bitches, ah. and the third ten is beautiful bitches. So a number twenty is a, a either a beautiful okay looking woman <laughs> or a ugly fine woman. <laughs> <laughs> a ten is a gorgeous ugly woman. An eleven is a Ugly, okay looking woman. <laughs> What's Dr. I Z? I love this scale. Dr. Z is a 21. Mm -hmm. right. To me. She's a she's an ugly beautiful woman. <laughs> she's as she is as gorgeous of an okay woman as you can get. Oh, but but the reason you do this is not to insult a woman. It's to know how much confidence to have. It's true. Like I don't have thirty confidence, Ma Ma but I know I can get a twenty-two. Oh, Uma she's Thurman. She's wonderful. Uma Thurman is a I, I ten. I give her twenty-five. Uh, she's a beautiful, she's a beautiful ugly, ugly woman. Wow. But, you know, actually, it's funny because if you read my book, I. Have have this whole thing on demystifying beauty because mm -hmm. guys go gaga over beauty and that's exactly what I tell them. Mm -hmm. Tell yourself beauty's common, beauty's out there. You know what? Beauty's diamond doesn't. I want something more substance than just beauty. Mm -hmm. And if you talk to yourself like that, you can you ha you can actually demystify beauty and have the power to come up to any woman. Because you know what, guys, are, depend uh, not any woman though, depending on. Really, mm. on because you might not have the confidence. Because that what that does is gives confidence. Like if you look at a woman and go, "Eh, she's a 15." Exactly, but that's yeah. a, but, that, know, that's exactly what. By the way, I talk to her like a 15. But the 30, you might have trouble talking to 30. Are you all about the big cock? No, no. at all. And actually, <laughs> if you read my trouble. book, if I read my book, as long as 
Those questions get out there. I have a whole chapter on why size does not matter, guys. Size uh, yeah. does not matter. Yeah, so yeah, you're telling okay. me no one cares. I, I, I still access. want a baby arm, Jack. I Gee, want a fucking pole. Of when death. You, there are big dick girls just like there's My girl's big, one. There's big... There's guys who are into big ass tits, who are into those ridiculous tits, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. But there are guys that are into small tits. Exactly. Are there girls that are into small tits? Yes, yes. There's there are. Guys, yeah, but that's that's a bad analogy because you're not stuffing a titty in my asshole. Or, or <laughs> well, it's the same thing. <laughs> you're not filling up anything. Which, which is also an image <laughs> I did not expect to have in my mind today. Was Patrice O'Neill? There is there is guys there is guys who love big clits. Can we send your mom to breakfast? There's TJ, guys who don't like big clits, right? The whole thing with men is that men for some reason think that women don't want sex women we want sex that. but it has to be sex worth having you know what if i'm gonna <laughs> shave my pussy shave my legs get ready and then you're gonna come in four minutes which is the uh, average for american male it's not worth it for me well but okay so learn what to about laugh you laying and there like what a I fucking about. mummy what about <laughs> what about the, the fact women. that you won't fucking lick my balls what about the, about the fact you the won't let me spit women. in your face she would lick your balls patrice relax <laughs> do you love a do you like it when a woman sticks a Fingers up your ass. No. Oh. See that now you are like, oh, I'm not that like that. I'm not a homo. No, but guess what? But I do majority like when she licks it though. I do like majority when she licks it. Majority of and guys she's a love it. Majority of guys. Mm -hmm. Majority. Majority love prostate massage. I bet it does. And, but now you're like, oh, I'm too much of a guy. I would never no, have No, I didn't that say that. Like a homo. I, I said it because I tried it. And here's and, and, and here's like what it. it is. Women don't do it. You do nothing with like a legitimate. Like now passion. he's backtracking. He's like, no, 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 no. When women finger you, it's always some way of oh, making what? you a fag. Like if a girl, <laughs> see, see, no. Like, no, no, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's nothing to do with that. Like, it's nothing here's... to do with being a fag. Wait, wait, wait. Let me. Patrice is on to something. Vicky, Vicky, can I? Can I? Let's hear this. May I say this? It's it's a thing where like okay, I don't like a. A girl to suck my dick. I like a dick sucker. Let me explain that. <laughs> Meaning, I don't like a girl who goes, right, right, right. "Oh yeah, I'm sucking your dick for you." I want a girl because, that sucks dick because she enjoys it, right? She's of a course. Dirty dick sucker. Well, if you're gonna now, if eat there was a pussy, girl, right, if there was a girl that had dick, right. to put her finger in my asshole, she's like, "I got to, motherfucker. Right, I got balls right, on my right, face. Right. I'm jerking your dick, yeah. and, it, and it's just some fucking animal that's fucking right, right. jerking and, and poking." <laughs> then I'm like, I would never cock block that. But some chick that goes, "I." I'm gonna show you what it's like to be. That's what most girls do <laughs> to see if they can take manhood. Jeez, Cause you're tired there. of being the fucking fuck brilliant. E. Fucking brilliant. Holy you're the shit. fuck <laughs> E. We're the fucker. Anything that makes you the fuck E, you like. Sticking a finger. You don't want to stick a finger in a man's ass. Why do you say that? <laughs> well, I don't know about that. You've been with wrong women. You've been with wrong women. Oh, God damn. Oh, You've been with wrong women. I haven't been. I've been with every kind of piece of shit. See, for you to degrade us, you have to do some dirty, filthy shit that we don't mind. <laughs> now, you just told me. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you this. Hold on. How would you, how do, what would you think about degrading a man? What's degrading a man? Yeah. What about putting that strap on right now? You turn over and, and I'm going to fuck you in the ass. And getting fucked in the ass. <laughs> the yeah. only way a woman could right, degrade a man is becoming the <laughs> fucky. So? You're the fucker. The fucker. All right, she's on to something. Let's turn the table. Let's turn the table. She's on to something. I get fucked in the it. ass by Dr. Z today. You Would you what? fuck someone in the ass? <laughs> yeah. Who wants to be fucked in the ass? Patrice made a great oh, point oh, about no. someone being so <laughs> filthy <laughs> that they got to pass a level of filth <laughs> that I don't think they can attain <laughs> right. to legitimately degrade. They could do something to go like, ah, oh, I'm going to degrade this person. Yeah. But what's I'm the cool shit about face. degrading, yeah. you know? This I'm sick. My asshole's on your face. You, you know what? To me, you, precious. to me, <laughs> to me, how about my balls? Hey, shut up, shut up. Stick my balls in your mouth. Come on, dude. Put your ball. Put my balls in your mouth. There you go. But That's what the fuck it. is? You know? Now blink, doc. Huh? What's huh? the thing like about that, degrading? Huh? You know, like the whole thing. It, sex. In order for sex I mean, to be rap, good, it has to be big dirty. Big hands around your fucking head. Shut the shut the fuck up, doctor. Huh? <laughs> what kind of doctor are you, bitch? Let me see your fucking credentials. Shut up. Come here, you like that, huh? You like that fucking finger in your ass, huh? You like it? Give me a kiss. Give me a fucking kiss. <laughs> oh, you didn't like How that, did you? How about this degrading? You didn't like that. Uh, spit you your fucking come in face, my ass, you dirty you Russian. you suck it out. <laughs> Oh, again, oh, sucking out oh, your again, own again, I have to do things that you do. How about I just use you as the object you are? Fine. Slap you in the face. Shut up. Most women would love that. Shut up. You want cum.
cum in your mouth. I want pussy juice. If you put pussy juice in your ass, I'll lick it out. <laughs> but you know why? You can't just shoot pussy juice nowhere. This uh, this uh, t follows the whole thing though that you've been talking about. Like you get into this degrading thing and stuff, and wondering where the questions are coming from, or where the whole conversation is going, or how it took off in a new direction. It's still all intertwined in this sexuality thing between men and women, where guys will fuck a, a, most any girl that will fuck them. And okay. girls need uh, this whole big thing well, we happening. Right. Well, you know, I, I explain it to you why. It's yeah, very yeah, you simple. Explain. From you explain evolutionary it. perspective, so, sperm, there's billions of them. There's limited amount of eggs. You so we can't want get, to pass uh, on your genes. I'm talking about everybody that's, that's fucking, everyone that's it. fucking doesn't want to procreate or I isn't know, thinking about you, it. So you're not thinking, but subconsciously it's always uh, there. But I, but I think yes. Yeah, yeah, you have evolutionary like, programs to do that. I don't this. know. The point that you I have evolutionary programs to do that. Then that is what, that is what evolutionary psychology is all about. You all say we evolved, we're all above that. But you know what? You're just a human animal. Watch. So you you're don't just a human animal. So we women don't enjoy spread. it as much genetically on, a, no, on an evolutionary level. Enjoy, they don't but enjoy it. But women have to be more selective because guess what? They don't want to be stuck. But you can You wouldn't be able to be themselves. selective if you if, if you, you enjoyed it as much. And, and hear what she just said. It boils down to God or nature, whatever you believe in. I don't believe in God. I'm an atheist. Atheist. So it boils down to to nature making women miserable and they want us no. to suffer for their misery because we basically i'm telling you raising kids for men it's if i shoot it in her or if i shoot it on her it's the same thing being a father I, you could be a father to somebody that you, you don't create. The, the actual creation process is a curse for them because women animals, right. well, the that's female why, woman, that's act like a fucking turtle where we're more you, she, so she lays a hundred eggs and says good luck to you. Right? <laughs> but the, women are cursed the rest of their life with the love they have for their child. I'm almost 40 why are you falling and my curse? mother is cursed with the fact that she loves me, meaning, oh my God, I wish I didn't give a fuck about this big mouth asshole, but I'm concerned <laughs> about like it. Maybe she's like she's 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 old today. She's, right now. She's, that's she's currently almost, happening to my she's mother. She's almost 60 years old, and she still cares for me. That's You're telling me your father doesn't give a shit about you? I never met the motherfucker, and I can understand why, because he was, I, I could have been on a sock, or I, I now, ended up now, inside that, my that, mother. You know That's what? what the fuck happened. I think that explains a lot of your anger. The of fact course. that you never met your daddy. Yeah, it's all the daddy. Exactly. Right? It's a you speech for the daddy you never met. Boy, I'm going to fuck the, your brains out, dog. It's the daddy dog. speech. I'm going to fucking stick my it's thumb my right in your booty hole one of these days. Trust me. <laughs> when your fucking boyfriend looks at you and worships you, finally, you finally get rid of that fucking asshole, you let me know, Miss fucking Third World. I'm going to fucking fuck the shit out of you, doc. <laughs> That's what, and I'm gonna smack you all in your ass with your own book. <laughs> <laughs> this is, like this is your fucking head. Like I mean, this I is like your head. Talk. Huh? The talk turns huh? me do on. You, do, you, huh? <laughs> you, do you believe in this bullshit you wrote, huh? <laughs> oh, please, no more. Shut up. Shut up. You know, Patrice and uh, Mark Hill. I'm mushing in her face. Patrice. I'm mush paid Patrice, 65. Patrice, you entertain me. <laughs> oh, my God. Shut the fuck up. Here, read your fucking book, stupid. How? You know what I decided, Dr. Z? Yeah. I don't want you. All right. Now you try to get me. Do you know me. what it's called? <laughs> you get That's me. called power. How are you going to get me? That is called paradoxical I don't know what the fuck it's called. What? It's called. How are you going to get me? It's I called. Want you. Why don't we agree to disagree and let's start looking at boobies. You are a ugly, beautiful woman, and don't you ever forget it. <laughs> what is she on the scale now, after all this? <laughs> she might, she, on her best day, a 22 and a half, and that is it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you gave her that so half So what you going to do? I'll give, you, I'll give you up to a 24, depending on how charming you are. I bet um, it's clean as a whistle, too, Doc. Well, we I bet it's seen her fucking asshole. clean. She didn't piss clean? her off. I bet everything's clean. I bet it's just fucking she uh, shaves ridiculously uh, yeah. impeccable down there. Yeah. Not even a smell. Yeah, right? I bet you. Yeah. What do you think? I bet you under your titties ain't even sweaty. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus. Uh, guarantee. It's, uh, I bet it smells like vodka. Doesn't he have an <laughs> doesn't he have an amazing way of of, of complimenting Fucking people? He has an amazing way of complimenting people. <laughs> vodka and it must fish. Say it's a unique compliment, which mm. is what I recommend oh, in my book, Doctor Zinsky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. See, you're covering all the bases. Of course. Uh, Look at her. She is sexy. Though. She's buying the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> no. What color your nipples, uh, Biggie? What color are they? Yeah, like a little pink. Yeah. 
delicious. How big the clit? Little, little, like very a very big. You got a big clit, like a little baby thumb. Yeah, I have a giant clit. Is As it, a matter of fact, how it Stern thought it looked like a mini penis. Is it? Is wow. it? Is it really yeah, he was a little intimidated by it. Can we when, see it? When my pet of the year layout, is You're it really have sensitive? Pet of the year layout. Why? Extremely sensitive. Is Can it we really? Well, it has to be aroused to be to be at its prime. So do you like and the so tongue? You like the tongue the go back and layout? forth or up and down? Up, back and forth, uh, up and down. Up and down, back and forth. You know, creativity. Yeah, back and forth. Because I'm and very down. clinical with me. I'm, I just I'm a I'm a two thumb open up guy. Good, good. Here it is, right? Nice, very <laughs> and nice. I'm very Can you stick out your tongue? I want to see because the length of the tongue is important too. Actually, if it matches my dick, it's a mess. That's why I eat good <laughs> pussy, really good. I do a lot of stuff to make you think you had a meal, and do then you, I give you a you small dessert. Do, do you like it? Do you like for a woman to sit on uh, on your face? That's important. I, I can give a fuck. You can sit anywhere you want, yeah. anywhere you want, and you don't uh, have to do much. I'm a giver. Would well, you, see, that's would you a good sit thing. on Patricia's and face. Actually, what. You know, I talk about the Sounds book like, and the, that in the oh, book. You know what? The size doesn't right. matter as Sounds long like, as yeah. you can give. You know, most women get off on, on, the, on your tongue. That's all they want. Ooh, they don't delicious. give a shit about your dick. Delicious. They want your tongue. They want your tongue there. I bet you your pussy tastes licking. like Chernobyl. It tastes uh, <laughs> like Chernobyl taste pineapple. Like? <laughs> pineapple. I eat a lot of pineapples, which really? is the key to tasting well. And lots yeah. of bromelain in it. Yeah, lots of fruits. I'm mm. a vegetarian. Lots My and girl lots of eats fruits. a lot of mini burgers from uh, to, uh, Ruby Tuesday. What, what does that taste like? <laughs> that what does that nasty. Patrice Sliders that taste like? That creates a nasty there she taste. Is. That's her. Patrice. <laughs> Vicky, Vicky, just slide that Why on. Why don't you describe what you're going to do to me? I want to hear your technique. The All guys right. want to know. The guys want to know your technique. My technique is very clinical. I'm telling you. I've <laughs> well, lost all passion. You take two thumbs mm -hmm. and you and you slide it up either side of the lips. That's good. And push system. it up until the clitoris is exposed, and then you but place. You, wait a minute, I'm you telling you now. The clitoris, you, I, I'm going to okay, tell you the fucking you. story. Oh. So I, you slide it open, right. and then you put your your chin where the pussy hole is to rest it, Not and then bad. stick your tongue in uh, and in back the side. No, 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 on the on the clip. On the clip, right? Clit. And ba I'm up. I'm up back and forth. I, I don't do any up and down. Uh, back, um, but what about some sucking action? You gotta add some sucking uh, action too. Look, at it. if you want that in your movie, you direct your movie. <laughs> in my that's movie, gets me you off. come as fast as those men come, and that's oh, a guarantee fact. Oh. This is a this is a fucking technique in over eight energy. different countries, baby. Oh, right. Except right. for yours, I don't know, but I have been close. I have oh, been in uh, fucking Holland. Patrice, she wants to get off. Describe it to her. Read between the lines. That's George Higgins from Florida. What lines George am I reading? I'm, I'm ready to go. Like I'm ready. She ready wants to hear what you would do to her. I just told well because her. I just described the specific so, techniques in my book, Doctors Eon Squaring. So I want to know what kind of techniques you're going to describe so, in your give me, books. Give me. I don't describe sex techniques because my thing is not about. Well, sex. how are you going to teach guys though? Sweetie, how are you going to teach? Them? How are you going to teach this guys from Florida not, to, to the My girl? angle is not to teach guys how to fuck. My angle is to teach guys how to be happy when they're dealing with women. That's all, all right. my thing is, is how to be happy versus this shit here. It's well, how to be happy. You, That's it. Do I don't teach guys how to eat pussy. That, wait, do you realize that 70% of women out there mm -hmm. do not have consistent orgasm because women, because guys do not give them head. I just this, told you how to, I like eating so pussy. So you need to write a book about why guys need to eat more it pussy. It would be a one That's paragraph thing. Okay. I, like, I don't want to tell guys to eat pussy. There's I a say, lot of them who don't like and I, don't want to. Into, and then they complain that the women don't go I'm down on them. To the trickle down theory. That's all. That's right. If I'm happy, then you'll be happy. Well, that's, that's all very I'm simple. Saying. And that's my take. That's the whole premise of my book. But let me ask you a question. Let me ask you this. Yes. I'm looking at you. I, you really. I'm, I'm. I do admit that even talking to you, I'm feeling reversed. Like. On my own thing, I got all emotional. Mm -hmm. Then I came down, and it's like I'm feeling Doctor Z a little more than I felt a. That's why you guys should do a, uh, a show together. Yeah. And can I just say? So I, I grew on you. Yeah. You, you guys would probably have. I grew angry from sex like twenty to like twenty two, <laughs> and now like yeah. making my way up to like maybe twenty three at this point. And let me ask you a question. She's insulted that you weren't higher in the twenties. No, be I'm not. I mean, like I said, listen, listen, no, well, listen everybody's got 26. their own prototype. There's guys who, who couldn't even get it up for me. I mean, I realize that everybody's got their own prototype of what turns them on. Yeah, I don't know about because that. Because there's guys out there who are into different types of women. There are guys who are into flat-chested women. There's guys who are into muscular women. I mean, I'm not, I don't have the muscle. No, let me ask Everybody's you Everybody's got their own thing. Is there possible, and, and not because they see, they said you did it before, but I, I, I would have I wondered this in the first place. I might not have asked you because you're Dr. Z, 
But I'm asking Victoria. I want to know is how can you tell if I just want to see if it's a good job or not. <laughs> <laughs> is that possible just to see because on there was f fabulous but it was all and all just whatever so after you saw naked pictures Patrice now you mellowed out now you want to see my yeah, boobies yes so it's you, got you, me. you you just you, you got changed me. I would love to see him naturally the just angry natural Patrice is gone ten now in the, the sweet breast yes. I, don't think, I don't think he's asking for much they look sure. very very that's a great job is that a mole They're beautiful is Dr. That... G and Papa is that a mole up there .com? yes real mole aww <laughs> no, not a third nipple, real mole. They're not. They're not real. They're slightly enhanced. Slightly enhanced. They're well done. And where would he go in? Uh, he goes in un underneath. No nipple. Can, you no, didn't go through nipple. the areola. I don't recommend through the areola because it reduces sensitivity of the areola. Fuck. And yes, <laughs> don't do it through the areola. Lily, what do you think? I think yes, they're really Dr. nice. Papa. And I'm it's really gone? jealous. Can, can, can Lily squeeze the, them? May I see the underneath? I'll part? touch them. Can Lily squeeze them? Wow. Can, can I touch, touch them? them? Yeah, you can't feel it. What is it? Is it uh, it's like saline? Uh, saline? Yeah. Under the you muscle. Can't you can't feel them. Look at her touching them, them like this. <laughs> That's not a good touch of food. I just want to Why don't you just stab it with a fork? Why don't you touch it? Oh, do you the correct way. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. You gotta, like, get the wah wah. TJ, do you, mind, do you mind a man's. How, uh... Patrice is not angry anymore. No. His anger dissipated like the morning fog. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I just don't want to put no poetry. What thing is that? I, like, I, that I just don't want to put any black fingerprints on that titty. Yeah, because <laughs> if something happens to you later, my fingerprints are going to be all over it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus is always thinking. <laughs> I'm not a black guy. Nice way, always way, yeah. Yeah. Mm, delicious. Yeah. Tremendous. Little breasts. So where am I now on the scale? Dr. I'm just Z, this curious. Is, this so did I make it to 24 yet? Dr. Z, this is really not fair. We were, we were getting the best of you. You pull your, those things out and now we're all calm. Oh, man, a man is shallow. What can I say? World you guys are shallow. I, it been, it See, I get like... impressed by your intelligence, by your quick wit, mm. by your humor. You guys just impressed by that boob job. Wow. That's exactly. all. But it is. It would, it would have been interesting to see that entire argument between Patrice and her with, with both the of them. With her tits out. Yeah. Hey, Dr. Z, what's, Maybe, like, what's two plus two? Mm, please tell me. Because I love a girl that knows math. <laughs> <laughs> it probably looks like Vietnam down there. It's probably, I can feel she's a little emotional. Vietnam. Yeah, there's some there's some hemorrhaging going on. I can tell. Oh, mm. She wasn't prepared to show anything. That's why. Oh, you think she it's growing in a, a little bit? And yeah. See how she looked up? Yeah. All Damn. right, we're gonna take a break and wrap up this show next. Delicious. We might be losing Anthony. We might not. Yeah, uh, yeah, I gotta go. We're probably losing Anthony, but I'm gonna yeah. stick around for Eastside Dave's ass fucking. I'll listen. I'm gonna uh, drive home. <laughs> okay. I would like to, to. I think I have to leave also. What? Yeah, well, you're right. I'll stay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what, what am I talking about? Hey, this is Patrice O'Neill. You are listening to the worst of Opie and Anthony. I guess which is their best, really. I, you know, when you think about it. Opie and Anthony. All right, we're back with the Opie show. Uh,. We're pretty much playing last man standing. I win today. We lost Jimmy yesterday. We lost Anthony today. We lost TJ Miller and his mom. They left as well. Thanks for Wait, what are you guys doing? I was showing a picture of my girl to see if she could. That's pretty she hot. She's pretty something. hot. Would you, uh. He's get... trying to talk me into a threesome. Well, it, what do you think? I gotta, gotta see more pictures. More pictures? Why? Yeah. That was a fucking great picture. Yeah, that was a good one, but she has a, some kind of mask on her face. That was some oh, that. oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> she's got, like, showing me a picture of a girl with a mask. I mean, <laughs> great body, great figure, not, nice tits and everything. What's but, the mask all about, Because kind of like I was, we was doing some mask there. stuff. We was doing some <laughs> <We're doing laughs> mask stuff. Here, here, look. Look at this one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm as like a like a God bless Patrice. like a cat woman oh, type. Just mask. doing some mess stuff. Oh, so yeah, she's hot. not not. I don't know. It was a Halloween and party. And then here, whatever. like I guess she's be, like what is it dominating? She's got like a, yeah. a little no, she's, slave collar. On. Yeah, but she's spitting in my face. That's the right. look at that's the look at that look, picture. We're uh, we're gonna wrap up the show, but we do want to play it something called uh, Moment of Truth. Now you would you really would like uh, fuck some guy in the ass with a strap on? Sure. Really? I'm not sure I want to do it on the show, but I, I do enjoy doing well, it from time to time. Well, I've got a little bit of a dominant side going right, on. You uh, gotta switch up from time to ladies time. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's say hi to Eastside Dave. <laughs> Hello there, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I just got in and I heard something about a banging in the ass there. Yeah. By me? 
Well, uh, Eastside Dave, first of all, Ron Fez moved oh, to three. Oh, you suck it, bitch. I just got uh, in. I was looking at you. I just Stop. got Ron in. Ron Fez, noon to three. Ron Fez, to three. I just got yeah. in. Yeah. There's a 10-second rule with that. Uh, little known fact, I, I love the Ron and Fez show, and, and you were talking about maybe, you know, getting it up the ass, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, no, no, no. I said it's a fantasy of mine. Right. Uh, by my wife. Right. I think I need to make that clear. Okay. Um, he doesn't want to do it on the national radio. I no, I have no problem with that. If my wife <laughs> oh, could be wife. shipped in, because I just got a text message. Uh, if you get banged in the ass by that doctor, I'm leaving you. <laughs> <laughs> and she's pregnant with his kids. And so. she's pregnant. And yeah. I never want to let down Mr. Opie here. Yeah. You know, so I figure if you, you were want... supposed to be the grand finale of this fine radio show. I know. I just... We had a great week of radio and we're thinking Eastside Dave getting banged in the ass. Boom. Everyone goes home for the weekend. You know, I would love to get fucked in the ass <laughs> okay. by you for, for you guys. But again, if my wife was the one doing it, I, I have some fidelity. Um, I don't want to let That's you down. We issues. do. You do have the strap on here, correct? We have the strap on. And How about this for a trade off? Simulated. And it's not cheating, really, because like we got condoms and stuff, and she's. Yeah. And she, it's. Yeah, it's not cheating if you're getting fucked with basically a belt. I, 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 <laughs> she, my wife, said she'll leave me. What? She'll leave me, and she's not the one to say. Show, show empty him the strap threads. on. Show him the strap on. Oh, I've seen the strap on. Yeah, and believe me, it looks. Look, have, if I'll, I'll, I'll gladly give you a trade off. What's the because trade off? Because I can't, I can't interact with females. Otherwise, you consider cheating. Iraq puts the strap on on, and I'll suck his dildo cock. <laughs> You want something gay? I'll bring it to you. Well, I don't I think we're asking get... for something gay. Uh, <laughs> no, it's nothing to do with being kind of gay. That, that was my whole point. Put on the dildo and it'll suck your cock. I thought you were going to say, I, I think I'm allowed a, a, a pinky from Dr. Z. I didn't know it was going to oh, go I'll, into this I'll, territory. I'll take take a pinky from any o a male staff member. No, well... Uh, or Patrice. What, what are you doing, Pitts? I don't know. You're right. Yeah, I'll put the uh, dildo on if Dave wants to suck it. I prefer an ONA. But what does that have to do with it? I was talking about a woman. Yeah, she wants to fuck you in the yeah, ass with a strap on. If, if, and she has a relationship too. The guy has a beer belly. I know, hey. I'm talking about enhancing male pleasure, about give and take, and about prostate massage, and right. about all that Can, kind of stuff. What does that have to would, do with sucking? Would you that accept a prostate massage? A can prostate get, massage? Can we get your wife on the phone? Maybe we can negotiate something. Um, you can try. I'll give her the Maybe phone number. Maybe I can get you a raise, I think. I think I can get uh, you a raise. Listen, if she's going to do a prostate exam... Yeah, it's officially then that's a, a prostate a, exam. A dildo with in the, the strap-on dildo. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but at least you'll you'll find out at the end if you have cancer or not. So All right. I think, I think we get something done out and of it. And I probably do have cancer. <laughs> Don't live a clean lifestyle, Mr. Opie. What? Oh. Lily, um, what's the deal? Are we gonna get this done? Are we gonna get? Uh, are we gonna get this done with Eastside Dave? You'll get some now. I mean, I'm surprised that E Rock doesn't want to dildo those cock cock suck, but E Rock, E Rock. No, that's that, that's not good enough. Doctor Z was really hoping to fuck someone today. Yeah. I mean, you, uh, I was really hoping to actually do it to Patrice, but he's not up for it. I think Patrice? he's not up for he's not up for prostate if you, massage. If you get naked and you step up to that level where you strap it on and you're standing there naked, ready to fuck somebody in the ass, I'll, I'll do it. But I, that's how much I bet you're full of shit. Really? Yeah. Go ahead. You would actually take. Look, I said what I said. I'm not gonna keep talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> interesting. Interesting. So. Balls in your court, Doc. Wow. You're ready to get fucked in the ass by Dr. Z. You keep stalling, baby. Go ahead. So all I have to do is get naked. Keep yes. stalling. And put on... Take your fucking clothes off. Why, is that, why are you taking your pants off? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You getting turned on? Keep, keep <laughs> take, Get naked, strap on that dildo, and kablaoi. Fuck it. So shall we do it? Patrice is a man of his word. I'll tell you right, right now. I'll right. tell you right now. <laughs> then we'll do it. All right. Ready? Yeah, you have to get naked first. That was the only rule. Uh, we got your wife on the phone. Is she gonna be mad? Is she gonna, is she gonna hate me now? No, I mean, ready for the strap she is what she is. All right, Doctor Z is getting naked. Get ready for the strap on. Get ready for the strap on. See, Patrice doesn't believe you. I mean, we've already seen you with your top off. You can get naked. You can get naked. Guys are pushing their faces up against the glass. This could be radio history. What do you think so far there, Patrice? Oh, these old lady fucking stockings is bothering me, but I'm going to see what happens. <laughs> what is up? I was just 
just regular stockings. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. Patrice, she's, <laughs> she's getting naked. Did you get your fucking, ass ready? <laughs> I'm going to see this fucking guy. Fucking... <laughs> she's getting naked, Patrice. Patrice, you don't Slowly. think I can get naked? Do you know how many times I've been naked? Strap on and ready to go. You got to get the strap on and everything. These Why do you got the pantyhose on? Oh, these pantyhose are because making my stomach outside, hurt. Guys. Is there a hole in your pantyhose oh, right geez. right near ground zero? <laughs> no, well, I don't know. Oh my cool. god! <laughs> okay, when oh you say gonna stop off. Just, <laughs> guys. East side, focus. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. This I, is I good. lost all my guys. <laughs> I need some help here. <laughs> Get ready. Okay. All right, Doctor Z is uh, now down to some fine panties that match the bra. Yeah, I told you. But she's now losing the bra, <laughs> Patrice. <laughs> nice leopard print. Oh. Uh, what do you think, Eastside Dave? Well, they're large. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Wait a minute. We're not. We're, we're talking. This she is my picked girl. up the belt. This like, is my girl calling me right now. See? No, no. Who is backing Hello. out of it? Who is backing out? Of it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh shit! Wait a minute. Oh, oh I'm waiting oh, oh, because I'm on strap on. I'm only panties away. Wait, don't. All right, she's only panties away. Don't go nowhere. Don't go. Wait, did she do the panties? Now, now for the record, he just. Uh, no, no, so he broke his... Oh, fuck me. Wait, don't go nowhere. <laughs> keep going, man. I'm ready to fuck you. Keep going. Oh, keep, Are keep you going. ready to get fucked? No, he's calling his girl back. Oh, my God. No, forget call about that. Phone. She's just, just a vagina. Her. She doesn't really matter, remember? Oh. No, no, no. Yeah, she don't, but just... It doesn't really matter at all. All right, hold on. We'll get her on the phone. Room. You want to get her on the radio, Patrice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah, right, yeah. we're going to get her on the radio. Yeah, because... Eastside Dave? Yeah, she's just a vagina, though. So you yeah, right. I can't vagina. believe that. She doesn't get ready to put on a speakerphone. And she has to play along. Remember, you are Eastside, the one you want to talk to your wife? Yeah. making the rules, right, get some right? headphones yeah. on. We got, the, we got the lovely Casey on the, oh, uh, the phone. Eastside fuck. Dave's wife. Uh, we're, and we're getting Patrice's uh, chick on the uh, air. Casey! I think Patrice's yeah. asshole is getting scared. Hold on, we got... Know. Get your headphones on. We got... To, oh. Wow, E-Rock is actually sitting in Anthony's seat. <laughs> you are a brave man. Uh, Eastside Dave, your wife's on the phone. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Um, so, uh, they, there's a doctor in here who's blonde and, and has, a, you know, she's a female doctor and she wants to... She really is a doctor. It says it right yeah. on her book, Dr. Z. She wants I'm, to I'm, bang I'm me with a dildo. Right she's very pretty. She wants to bang me with a dildo. So what's your stance on that? Is that the infidelity or... Or, or <laughs> does that text message of my bags getting packed, does that ring true? That rings absolutely true. Oh, jeez. You know why? Let me finish why real quick. I'm oh. sitting here, bloated, crampy, carrying your fucking kid. Oh! <laughs> Fasting your DNA to, uh, on, your parasitic DNA. My friend, my friend is over here, my friend Tip is here, and I'm not asking him to bang me in the ass in solidarity. I really think that it's unfair. So you're trying to say that this would actually be a treat for Eastside Dave. <laughs> <laughs> it would be. That's the thing. Um, they were wondering how about a, a prostate uh, check, because she is a doctor, and that's just like a pinky, and it's honestly, that's just... You know, that's just a pro That's just yeah, Casey, checking my health. Casey, you understand radio. If she's naked, she's got to do something now. Well, or she's, she's not naked yet, though. Or something. I don't. <laughs> she doesn't need to go shoving her digits in my husband. But her pinky, just for to check my prostate. Baby, what the fuck? No. I, I, how about I make a deal? I'll pal talk my cam up and Chip can put his finger in my ass. Oh, oh. nice. That's a good trade off. <laughs> that, that would be uh, nice. How does that make you feel? Well, because you don't have a prostate. <laughs> well, she can pretend. You know what? Why doesn't he check to see how the baby's coming along then? Oh, jeez. All right, so I guess the answer is no. Uh, <laughs> I'm still willing to say, wait, well, you you wouldn't consider it bad if I sucked E Rock's dildo cock, would you? <laughs> that, that I would actually enjoy and think it's fun. All right, we might do that. All right, we got to say goodbye to Casey because we have Patrice's uh, girl on the phone. Uh, Patrice's girl, everyone. I don't think she's ever been on our show. No. Patrice's girl, how are you? Hi, everybody. How are you? Good. Now, uh, as Dr. Z was getting completely naked, or she was almost completely almost naked, it. and she was reaching for the strap on to fuck uh, Patrice in the ass, uh, Patrice's phone rang, and that would have been you, so now we got you on the uh, radio. Well, because Patrice is a man of his word, but I had to intersect because I'm not there. <laughs> and the only problem with her sticking something in his ass is I'm not there to stick something in her ass. All right. So that's, <laughs> She's like... so that's the only problem, then? That's Coming the over. Problem. Coming I mean, over. We can all have a date. And if he still wants to stick to his word, that's fine with me. Now, now have but you ever stuck anything, anything up his ass? his ass without anything going in your ass. Now, have you ever stuck anything up uh, Patrice's ass? 
No. So you haven't tried it? You don't know if he's really into it, or has he resisted his uh, ass exploration? That's not something I'm really interested in, so I just never went there. Okay. And I, I don't think that he's interested in that. Well, you never well, know until you try. Well, I'm going to get fucked in my ass right now, baby. Uh, Hang up on him. All right. <laughs> Hanging up on Patrice's girl. Look at she'll fuck it. There you go. <laughs> I listened to Patrice. There you go. All right, get naked, honey. Let's see what's going on here. All, all right. right, so now you're down to panties, right? So we'll find out if he likes it or not, all right? All right, Dr. Z, who's, uh, who hated everybody a mere hour and a half ago, is no, now completely naked. Rice. And now she's uh, no, attempting no. to. Wow, you've you've done that before. That strap on <laughs> went right on. <laughs> okay, <laughs> very seamless. Yeah. yeah, she she knew what she was doing there, huh? Yeah, oh yeah, fit that, like a glove. Wait oh. a minute. Wait a minute. What what Patrice? The white dildo? <laughs> oh, oh, oh shit! Oh, oh. A but, fucking but, wait a minute. A white dildo? I don't think that's acceptable. <laughs> well, we got. You black, didn't fucking say. We got black condoms. Oh, Wait a minute, yeah, but you didn't say a fucking tonight. black dildo, man. What's wrong with the like white? You didn't say a white dildo. What's wrong with the white hey, dick? I'm a white girl. Dude, I can't. I, I'm I a can't. White girl. I can't. If get... I had a penis, all right. It would be this a little, white penis. This is a little weird because now she's got the dildo on with the strap <laughs> you on. Gotta get, you gotta get. You can't back out. You know, you know, ain't gonna. You know that bullshit. Come on, baby. She mad as shit, man. She mad as shit. Sweetie, listen. Hello. She said my pussy smell like mini burgers. Now, <laughs> Wait, what'd she say? She said I said a pussy smell like mini burgers on the. <laughs> <laughs> you know I ain't getting fucked in my ass by this goofy bitch. I'm just, I just want to, <laughs> I just want to see her naked, man. No, <laughs> you are, or you're not a man if you were. Ah, oh, fuck it, I lied. What are you? <laughs> That's true. You are you, true. You are a pussy. Is your is your girl Patrice all right? Patrice O'Neill just yeah, admitted right. that he's just a pussy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a very sweetie. <laughs> I'm just a pussy. Oh, she hung up on me. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's scared of being dumped by his girlfriend. He's scared of yes, his I ass am. being split. Dave's pants he's are down. Scared Dave, of having. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I, what are you doing, Dave? I thought I was going to see some ass banging, so it was just for it was just for access. <laughs> are, you allowed, are you allowed to jerk off if she's yeah. naked? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Get her back on the phone. <laughs> All right, Casey, if you're still listening to the call back, we gotta know if Dave's allowed to jerk off, because he's down to his, like, really Patrice, awful boxers. Patrice, Patrice, and I thought you were the man of that your word. That dildo I is... I didn't know. It very was a white dildo. dildo. I was begging for you. <laughs> no, but it's, it's very non-hard. It's just gonna smush <laughs> against your ass. I'm trying to figure out, at what point, how do I pull my pants down, <laughs> bend over, and get fucked in my ass oh, by Dr. Z? Here's a black one. Oh, just for you. the black ones here. <laughs> I like to what apologize for lying to you. Oh yeah, now you look now, awkward. Now, now you're naked with a strap no, on. I don't want to fuck. He looks awkward. I don't look awkward. I just, I just, I'm a liar. I've lied before. Okay, you're a liar. And, and you're a pussy. You're a pussy. And you don't God has, for, God has forgiven me. <laughs> hey, can we do something with Lily? Oh, um. I don't want to get fucked in my ass. See, what, everybody ooh. just talk. What about you guys are just talk when it comes to action. Three, Ryan Fez, you know, so it's great promotion for Ron Fez. I, I, I will, three, Ryan Fez, I will three. say that you fucking stepped up to the plate, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I will say you are standing there butt naked with a fucking strap on. On. Well, can we at least Waiting have you someone. suck the strap on? I'm not sucking a fake dick. Are you, I will. <laughs> well, yeah. not, not on her. Now that I have Wait, a you're allowed to. You're not cheating. Come on, Casey, you should allow that. Get her back on the phone. All right, let's get her back on the phone. We Before got a couple I'm more options. Before I'm out of the studio, somebody's gonna suck the strap on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that really sounded like concentration camp shit. It's right there. How about how about how about we allow this? Eastside Dave sucks uh, uh, Doctor Z's cock, and while it's in your mouth, you and promote Patrice Ron Fest. Admitted that, be, we need defeat. some kind of we need some kind of finale. For I agree. This week of radio. Noon to three, by the way. We only have eighteen Patrice, minutes left the before the computer shuts us off. Okay. You're a pussy. Okay. See. Yeah, yeah, I am. I am. I'm not taking a fucking dildo yet? in my Fe butthole. You're afraid of dildo. the best orgasm of your life. How is that? Uh, you got, uh, you got your headphones, headphones on. Hold yeah. on, hold on. Prostate stimulation, oh, baby. We got Casey back. Casey. <laughs> yes, he. Hi, how are you? Hi. You know baby. I, you know I love you. 
Yeah, so, okay. All right. Maybe sh- would I be allowed to... No, s- is, that, is that racist? Why is the black one so much bigger than the white one? Oh, come on. You know the answer to that. <laughs> You've had a, you said you had hundreds of them. Actually, research has showed there is no difference. Yeah, it's all, right. all in your mind. <laughs> yeah, okay. Researchers were white men, she forgot to say. No, all right, uh, Casey, how do we get this done? What if uh, Dave has his hands behind his back and uh, Dr. Z has her <laughs> hands behind her back, so technically he's just sucking on a dildo that's kind of floating in space? Again, I present you with the option that I do the same thing here. Oh, Dave. <laughs> Chip sucking a dildo on you? You brought home that, that strap on. Yeah. I've, okay, <laughs> thank you for telling them that. Uh, um, You brought home a strap on. I did, yeah. Just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Not just as a joke, you know? Everyone does fun little gags on their wives. Dave, it looks like you're out. I'm sorry. I know you want to suck uh, Dr. Z's cock, but uh, I don't think it's going to happen. No, man, it's it's not. And Opie, you're always saying you want to take the gay out of the show. Have Lily do it. Ooh, Lily. Come on, big grand finale. No, no, that that's not. That's see, fair. I need a guy. The whole my whole point is the prostate massage. I'm trying Her to prove. Her whole point that... is to destroy madness. No, <laughs> to shove something no, in some man's no, asshole. No, no, no. My whole you point. You got a few is... Chernobyl moles, by the way. I see, I see another one on your side there. <laughs> Stop picking my moles and volunteer for the best not, orgasm of your life. I can't yeah. volunteer for it. See now you guys all pussies. You were calling. Hey, I never, I never said. Dave said he would do it. I said I would do it with my wife. The only thing that happens in when you call a bluff is you win like you won I you call my bluff and yeah. you get respect for that we just figure out how to get I you naked I am not that's all. taking a dildo in my <laughs> ass cheeks so we don't have anybody here who is willing uh, to any listeners or listeners to, huh. or to at least suck this or some Step interns on. that want to have. Big uh, man's like he looked back. Come on, this come guy out here, the bald dude. He looked right back, like I know you motherfuckers ain't looking at me. He, he looked right back and said, "Which one are you pussy?" Hey, my body looks ass? pretty damn good on that camera. Wow. What's the ass look like? Let me see. Yeah. It's, uh, it's high and tight. Yeah, I have a white girl's ass. It doesn't. Yeah, you it's are, not you a are very like. If I was a fucking white guy, I'd be I'd be mesmerized. You got like a very white. White guy right, body. Dave, yeah. put your pants yeah. on. It's it's. It's not gonna happen. I'll suck you, Erox chocolate cock, whenever you want. Wow, <laughs> we're, we're trying to do a little better for the grand finale. <laughs> All right, so everybody. I think everybody I, I guess it's gotta be Lily. Here. I Nobody can't. My wife leave to... me. Lily. Oh no. No, no, but that's not fair. Sorry. The idea is you guys I know look, somebody was trying to throw me under the bus, woman. but no. no, 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 no I wish no, no, my no. girl was like in the vicinity. If she didn't live like where she lives, really? like, well, we could set this whole scene up excuses, again. Excuses, Ooh. excuses. Yeah, there's always that. There's always um, part do. Yeah, so she's good. a soldier. She wouldn't. She wouldn't flake out like I did. All right. Well, Casey, thank you. I'm sorry that no we problem. put you through this. Sorry to ruin your show. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> It's Bye. all good. The motherfuckers right, was really Casey. thinking I was going to take it in the boot shoot. I had no doubt that you, <laughs> you, you weren't. <laughs> you fucking kid. Right. But my girl was sitting there going, because the I wasn't even was like, hilarious. She was thinking <laughs> that, she's like, motherfucker, I know you're not going to let this girl strap dildo foot. I'm like, are you out your mind? <laughs> all right, go around the room. Any any takers? This is how this ends? This See, was supposed I mean, what to be is the this? bigger... This is like anticlimactic. It really is. In the... Uh, in, uh, in, in more than one way, anticlimactic. Here's Doctor Z, Doctor Z on Square. Here you go. Com. There you go. What are you, Dave? Dave. Oh, Dave is, Dave's is fucking doing himself it to with himself. the dildo. Dave, you, you, why are you shoving the chocolate dildo? Up you want a finale, baby? Dave, what are you? Dave, this isn't fit. Dave, I am a white person. So how does it feel? It doesn't feel that dildo. good. It because, doesn't feel the way I thought it because would. Because you're doing it there yourself. You need some lube, okay? Yeah, get and some lube. Oh, oh my god, you're not. No! Oh, what are you doing? Oh. This is not how I picture this See show ending. Oh. Don't you start with the trees. Oh! 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 This is not how I picture this show ending. Dave's... Nipple to oh. show everybody how big oh, your dick David. is. Oh. What, Patrice? His oh. dick is, is the size of a nipple. Oh, it's his. It's I can't get out. His, his dick is oh. the size of Dr. Z's nipple. Oh, my oh what did I do? What did I do? Oh, my wife was right. We, why is it hanging out of your ass? Pull I it out. <laughs> Just pull it out. I don't want it to hurt. No. 
You ruined my oh. lots of lube. Lots oh. of lube. What are you doing? Why didn't you tell me that before? <laughs> oh, that's Guys, just that's what you oh. all need. Oh. Oh. Run fast, do the three. <laughs> Run fast, do wow. the three. Wow, wow, wow. And now this is the... Oh, my guys need Dr. Dude, Z on scoring.com. Something as simple dude, as how do you putting get your... lube on. Oh. Something that I need how to do sell. Get... Now he's sucking oh. on the fucking black dildo. Come on! Why are you trying to do the thing? Oh, God damn it. Why are you trying to do the thing? Why are you trying to do the thing? Oh, boy. <laughs> God, oh, no. Patrice, oh. now you feel sorry. We want to look what you started. The ultimate denigration of this man uh, by I, himself. Oh. No, I feel did, nothing. Eastside Dave just did ask him out, basically, on himself. I feel nothing. <laughs> on himself, he just did ask him out. Jesus how does he get, Christ. How does he get a girl pregnant? A girl, his lovely wife pregnant with a, with a dick. His dick. He is, you're all like an acorn. And I am not a Ellie. fucking I'm a problem with a dick guy, but Jesus <laughs> I look, I am a grower. Not a shower. Okay. Well, why do you got yeah, why you got a bucket? Oh boy. What's some happening? Some guys are growers. I'm a grower. Well, I've shoved it back in my mouth. I got some shit particles in there. Actual shit crumbs. Oh, so what are you doing? E. coli is making its way I thought down. I was throw up. Throwing up soon. All right. Why don't you throw uh, the black dildo away? Because now that's useless. <laughs> no one, you can't do anything with that. <laughs> I was kidding. It yeah. It, well. Fuck you. All right. I guess uh, Doctor right, Z. You so could, everybody, you, you know, can put your clothes God, back on. I mean, I think, you guys uh, are a bunch of pussies. That's I think we turned this whole thing you. around. Pussies. On the end. It that's started off crazy. a little ugly, but in the oh. end, everyone had a good time. I shoved a black dildo up my ass. Lily, any any words there? All right. This was Ron and Fez needed three. That's all I got. Were you shocked by what you saw? here yeah. today <laughs> dave why'd you do that <laughs> noon to three right uh sorry <laughs> all right just trying to help out you know what auction this off on ebay dave you finally impressed me you're gonna be part of my trade give me my oh head. your coochie's a little you got a little nappy down there too it's a little yeah, she said that last time she likes to grow it out a little bit it. yeah mm. yeah a lot of people are calling you a punk, Patrice. Give a fuck? I, mean, <laughs> I, I, I didn't take it in the ass. That's white guy shit. As soon, soon as you said that, I'm like, you know, Patrice is brilliant because we finally figured out how to get her naked. I knew, I knew you weren't doing shit. <laughs> getting somebody to fuck. How do I even get in that position? <laughs> I, I don't even know how to get into fucking Dude. the ass position. What do I do? Dude, if that happened, I don't think I could ever talk to you again. Nobody could. <laughs> my girl couldn't. My friend. What the fuck is that? How much shit would I talk if I took a dildo in my fucking butt cheeks? My cheeks. I don't even know how to say it. My butt cheeps. <laughs> your butt cheeps. My, my He's speechless bu now. Butt cheeps. But guess what? It's gonna be on your mind now. All right. So what are, gonna, what are we what promoting today? What missed out? Uh, Ron Fez noon to three. Ron Fez noon to three. Um, you all right now, Dave? I feel a little bit better. Thank you. So you, now you don't have to yeah, wonder that about cathartic. that anymore. Yeah, I mean, that was a fancy that one of them we can just strike <laughs> off the ledger after today. Yeah. Oh, that that didn't feel good, doctor. Well, because you did lube. There's only one word to describe it. That's why you guys need Dr. Z on scoring.com. With the hair, the, the, the blonde hair, just <laughs> one in there dry. Oh my <laughs> just God, the just a dry fucking his ass with a dildo. And then, he went to, and, then he went, and then he went to mouth. Ass to mouth on himself. ATM, baby. ATM. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, your lower panties and butt is making me physically ill. I can't believe you have that unsexy of a bottom half today. Yeah, why? Yeah, you don't like my stockings? No, it's, it's like almost outside. destroys oh, that, me it's right now. Outside. Yeah, she just, she just, just, just cold. Cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, fair enough. You know what? Let me stop. She's just trying to keep warm. You fucking annied up, and I pussied out, and you're and you're right. I have nothing to say. You, you're absolutely right. I'm just fucking with you. Are you guys uh, getting along now? I want to take home. <laughs> Would you go home with Patrice? Would your man get mad? He uh, well, she wouldn't give a fuck. She'd just slap him in his face and tell him to shut his mouth. You'd be, you'd, <laughs> well, I think you get that done. He has impressed me more than that, and right now I'm. But a little there's a possibility. I, we don't play uh, fake radio crap. Is there a real possibility that Patrice could bring you home to his girl? No. All right, there you go. That was honest. <laughs> no. Racist. No, it's nothing to do with racist. Oh, I'd, I'd uh, go home with Chuck Nice. James in Ohio. Chuck Nice. Mm -hmm. You know so Chuck you, Nice? You would fuck Chuck Nice, you're just saying. You would you fuck, fuck Chuck, Chuck Nice then? Would I? Or have or you? Have you? Well, I don't have to tell you that, do I? He used to be oh part of our God. show. Well, not part of our show, but he used to do, you. you know, he, he used, used to, to do our show. Let's just say he's one of my very good friends. The radio chick, right? Oh, damn. You you had some Chuck Nice dick. <laughs> no, no, I'm not saying that. You yeah, smashed you it, huh? I'm not saying you that. You smashed Chuck Nice's. Smashed it. Hey, Dave, a lot of people are wondering if you pink socked yourself. What does that mean? He had to. You had to. When you pull it back out, he now it's looking to. like a pink sock. Oh yeah, some of the uh, my ass was stretched. Out. Yeah, he, he took it balls it's, deep. It, <laughs> it hurt worse when I took it out. 
Then when I put it in, what a trooper! This nigga just stuck a black dildo yeah. on his ass, balls deep, yeah. on his own. Like, yeah, that means he he went past the threshold of pain. Well, look, I want to help you guys out. I'm a team player. Ron Fez, minute three. <laughs> All right, I appreciate it. What what is uh, up on the Ron Fez show? Oh, we got a lot of topics coming up. <laughs> well, I heard he has no idea. No, but I heard you guys are gonna do what? Like an all nighter? Oh yeah, we're gonna have a twenty-four hour party coming up very, very soon in the, in the XM universe. Stay tuned for that. That's gonna be awesome. And Le what's her name? Lene. Lene, yeah, it's Lene. a little girl. Huge fan of Lene. I want, I oh, want yeah? to steal her from you guys. Okay. Huge fan of her. We have our her eight by ten in our office. If you want to, take well, not her. in that way. I, I think she has some radio chops for an eleven year old girl. Oh yeah. All right. All right. Uh, what else are we doing? That's it, right? Do we have to do line of the day? Nothing's going to compare to a dildo up beside Dave's ass. Well, maybe we should say who. SkiColoradoNow.com for info on great deals on 26 world class resorts and up to the minute snow conditions. Log on to SkiColoradoNow.com. Here is a runner up line of the day. Damn, bitch, why you in? <laughs> so I just told you a lot. I just told you to lose 25 pounds. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Uh, a lot of people calling you a huge punk. Patrice. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> did they really want to hear like, you get yeah. fucked? Up? Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 what? Like, they're like, what? Did they lose respect <laughs> because I didn't take a dildo on my ass? Well, go oh. fuck yourself. <laughs> fucking cut no, white two on one from fucking Connecticut. Me? You challenged really, me. You didn't live up to it. They are the really mad me. that you didn't take a, 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 a strap on. Them. Yeah. Well, so they can, so they can just never. I can never have any respect for myself. Yeah. But I lie <laughs> from a liar to a quasi sissy that took it in the ass. <laughs> I want to say a couple things here, Patrice. I've been encouraging Patrice to write a uh, a sex ad uh, advice book. Yeah, I think, I think he should. His, I think his take on things would make a great read. I like his a oral technique read, too, and it would nice actually be technique. it would actually be very informative. The other thing is he does a sex advice show. Now I don't want to blow oh. up Patrice's spot, but for one one Saturday night, one Saturday night only, you guys should team up. That would be some fucking radio. You might have fun, but she she uh, she's goofy. I yeah, know. Yeah, she's just uh, it'll be just be like a regular girl. She could be the girl. I, you know, what she could be. Huh. If she's around April fifth, she could be the girl on the show. Like I always have a woman come in just to. Just Maybe so, she comes so in for the last hour or something. I don't give a shit. I don't she know. We'll the figure it thing. out. Doctor Z is a friend of the show. Uh, yeah, she's now cool. she's officially done uh, more than she did on Howard. <laughs> Well, Almost. yeah, it depends how you define it. I mean, I rode... Next uh, time I suggest uh, a bukkake party with you. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be nice. Well, Howard uh, sold about uh, 10,000 books for me. If you can do that, I will... Well, because he might have... He probably talked positive about the book. Yeah. Maybe we can learn from him. Exactly. So I'll challenge you guys. You saw you saw that match, and uh, you don't know if what If we I'm sell 10,000 books, can we do bukkake party with Dr. Z? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll challenge you. Ten thousand bucks, you bukkake party. And I, you and, lay down, and we, and we and just we, have ten guys jump off. Oh. But you know what? <laughs> all over you. you know what? She yeah. has proven Wait. herself to not be the person. Uh, ten thousand How much? How much is a book? It's uh, <laughs> about fifteen dollars. Oh shit! It's uh, yes. I just have to raise one hundred fifty G's. One hundred fifty G's, and we're G's. having a bukkake party. And I don't think she's bullshitting. No, no, no I'm not bullshitting. Doctor Z, coming soon to the Dr. Opie and Anthony Z show. Doctor Z on scoring. Can't wait. All right. Jesus. I come. All right. It, she <laughs> wants to sell books and suck cock. Cock-sucking <laughs> <laughs> bookseller. So out there, if you guys are a fan of Opie and Anthony, go out on uh, All right. Amazon. We got the plugs in. Trust in order me. <laughs> now we're gonna plug you. Hey, this is Patrice O'Neill, and to find out any dates, any information, anything you need to know about me, go to patriceoneill.com or visit me at MySpace slash Tourists in Brazil. I don't know why I did that. I'm not that corny. Somebody had stole my original uh, what, MySpace, and that's what he put. Like, cause that's how he's, you know, I, he knew me from Brazil, but that's my shit. You can't even change it now. Cause by the time I got it, it was already 8,000 friends. This nigga had more friends than I got now. Like I haven't even doubled the friends that this fucking imposter did. So if you go to myspace.com slash tourists in Brazil, you can get some information on Patrice O'Neill. And if you go to patriceoneill.com, it'll tell you all the lovely little places I'll be. Oh,